today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty YouTuber that does a lot of makeup videos and today it is time for the third part in my decluttering series and today we are digging into blushes, highlighters, contour and just face palettes. So if you want to see if I'm going to be good at decluttering them, just keep on watching. So this video, something happened with one of the files, so it went missing. And I was like, maybe I should just scramble the whole video. But I was like, no, I have done this. And the first, I think around seven minutes of my decluttering went missing. Something happened with the file, so I thought that I can show you the palettes that I did show you that I think I <laughs> show you the first seven minutes. Some of them I have already given away that I decluttered, but you're going to see it in the end. I'm going to show everything that I did declutter, but I have some face palettes that I thought that I can show you. So I have this one that is um, my... C palette with blushes and highlighters and <laughs> contours. So these are my blushes from Nabla and blushes from Makeup Store, a contour shade from Nabla, two highlighters from Nabla, one from H&M and a contour bronze shade from Lethal. And these, I do really really like them. I don't use them as much as I wish I would do, but I do like them and I'm going to keep this palette. I'm thinking about decluttering this one, the highlighter from H&M. It's really, really nice and now I see that it starts to crack a little bit. So I might decluttering this one, but it's staying for now. I also have this face palette from Lethal and I have put in two blushes and a highlighter and I do really love this purple blush. I don't use it that much but they've used it sometimes and it actually looks really really good. And I think it's so fun to have a really purple blush and this highlighter is a pink highlighter that is exclusive to this palette and it's a really really nice highlighter. It's not this pink on your skin but it's so so nice so I of course keeping this one then I have this little highlight palette from Light and Crime this is so so good I bought this because Jessica from Stars Hollywood Jessica she loved this one and I think I use hers and then I was like okay I do really really want it so this is the color opals and these are so so nice I like this one the most but all of them are really really good and uh, I think these these are really really good highlighters and I think they should have more hype because it's really really good then I have two contour, contour kits no two highlighter kits from Anastasia Beverly Hills so the first one is Aurora this glow kit I don't use it that much. I do use like this Luna and I use some of these like the Spectra and this Orion as an inner corner highlight sometimes. And I'm going to keep this one even though I think I maybe should be decluttering it but I do like it and I want to have it in my collection so it's staying. The other glow kit I have is the Moonchild. And this I don't know why they did discontinue it. Because this is a really, really nice one. I do love this Pink Heart and Lucky Clover are the ones I use the most. Pink Heart is one that I use absolutely most. And I just think that Anastasia, when they did these glow kits, I was never intrigued before this one and the Aurora one. And I do use them sometimes, not that often, but I still I still want to keep them. 
Then I have two blush palettes and one is the Clown Blush from Likely Makeup. This is the most fun blush palette I have and this is so pigmented. It is insanely pigmented, you have to be so so careful. And I'm going to keep this because I do love the pink blush, the pink, the yellow blush and the orange blush. This one is really really dark, I need to be so super careful when I'm using it and this pink one is also such a thing, fun pink blush I do really like this I should use it so much more but it's of course a keep because it's the most like pigmented and most fun blushes I have and the last palette that I think I talked about was this one from Lunar Beauty and if you have been here on my channel for a while you know that I love this palette. It looks like this. This is an amazing blush palette. I love it so so much. Especially I love this Stargaze one and this Spacey. This one I don't use at all because it's too dark for me but the other ones amazing blushes. They are amazing and uh, I think I never will declutter <laughs> because I love it so much. Now I haven't used it that much, the latest, but it is a really really good blush palette and I do love the aesthetic of this one. I think Lunar Beauty are amazing to do uh, the packaging. It's just amazing. So yeah, I think that was all the things that I still have that um, was on the missing file. <laughs> I hope that it is okay that I'm doing this, but I was so mad when I noticed that the file wasn't... I couldn't work with it, so I was like, should I just scrap the video? And then I was like, no, I actually did film it, so I try to solve it like this. So yeah, just we hop in to the rest of the decluttering and collection video. It looks like this. They discontinued these. They didn't have it for a long time at all. But yeah, I'm going to keep them. And then I have this Charisma Contour. Got this in PR as well. I do really love this and I'm going to keep it. When I got it, this was like the only contour I did use. And I do love it. So this is staying as well. Maybe we should go into highlighter from Kaleidos. And then take the rest. <laughs> so here are all the highlighters from Kaleidos and all of these are staying. This is the new Mars Melter. I think this is more as a bl blush topper for me but I'm keeping this one because I do love Kaleidos. I thought that I can show you my favorites. This is one of my favorites. This is Diamond Dasher. This is a really nice neutral with like a little hint of pink shimmer I don't know if you can see that much maybe finger swatch is better so it's a really nice it's a really nice highlighter it's a little bit chunky but not too chunky at all and then I do really love the original Mars Melter as well this is a little bit of a of a red to it just as such a nice highlighter but all the others are staying. I do have this Prophecy. This was the first new multichrome. This is a little bit too dark for me, but I still want to have it. And you see this? This is such a cool highlighter. Um, and I have also bought the new one. It's on its way home to me. So yeah, I do have a problem, but I'm going to, to keep the problem. So I have these four blushes from the balm and two of these are two of my <laughs> all-time favorites. The Down Boy. I do love this blush. This is a really nice blush. It goes with everything. Keeping this one and also Hot Mama is a really really nice blush. It has a little bit of a gold sheen to it and it's just an amazing blush. But I think maybe these two. I was so excited when I got these, especially this one that is Pinstripe. It's a really dark blush. 
but I actually think that I will decluttering this one because I don't use it like ever and the same with this this is lace and the thing with this one I did order pinstripe first but I got lace but the company bangerhead I think it was is the Swedish site they let me keep both of them but I actually it's just a little bit too pink for me I have a really pink blush and it's enough with one. I think I will declaring this one. This is from Makeup Revolution. This is Bang Bang You're Dead. This is a really nice blush. Uh, it was a really, really cheap blush. It is like a coal toned pink blush. I don't think you can see it. It is really like you really need to pack it on like a crazy person. It is a really nice blush, but I never use it. So I will actually declaring this one. And then I don't know this Milani blush. This is actually such a nice blush. This has a little bit of gold to it. I think I actually keep this. I feel like the studio light is washing it out, but yeah, I will keep this one. Then I have this one from Sleek. This is in flushed. This has survived so many declutterings. And it's so hard to open. It looks like this. This is a really, really nice blush. It is kind of a dark blush, but it feels a little bit dry. I'm actually going to decluttering this one. Then I have this from Makeup Store. This is in Sugar Muffin. And I don't even know how few times I've used this one. I like can't remember when I even had it on. It is a really nice blush, but I actually think it will go just because I haven't used it. So okay, this is going better than I thought. <laughs> then I have this blush digital, digital dust duo blush from Melt. This is in Buskill and this is going nowhere. This blush is one of my absolute favorite blushes that I have. Uh, this highlighter is a little bit too dark for me. It's workable. It doesn't look too off, but I, I wished it was a little bit lighter. But this blush... Whew, can you even see this? This is an amazing blush. This was like the blush I used all summer. So this is going nowhere. I love this one so, so much. I have this Fenty cream blush as well in... Uh, strawberry drip me and cream products aren't like best friends but i am going to learn to use this so i'm keeping this one i want to like fenty and i want to try more things from fenty and i'm going to use this so this is staying and was that all for blushes i have some liquid blushes that we have already gone through when I did my first decluttering part, that it has been up here somewhere in this video. So yeah, should we just continue? Maybe I can take Nabla. I do have maybe a little problem with Nabla as well. Um, this is some of their skin glazing. This is screen, screen bronzing. skin bronzing in Ombra. This is my absolute favorite contour shade. This is going nowhere. I love this one. And I have the Ozone highlighter. As you may see, I've used this a lot. And this is such... Oh, now I had blush on that finger. This is such a nice highlighter. I love this one. I'm not going to swatch it. Then I have four blushes. Uh, two of them are pretty new to me. These two and this I have for a little bit longer. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> these two I have longer. <laughs> these are pretty new to me. I'm going to keep this because I love them. This is adults only. This is a dark reddish blush. I think this is such... A cool color. I 
just love it. Then I have Lola that I also had had for a little bit longer. This is a really light pinky shade. And I think this is the one that I use the most actually. Just such a nice blush. And these two I bought on Black Friday week. So this is Truth. This I talked about that I wanted to buy. And I am not disappointed at all. This is a little bit more like coral. And then I also bought the Independence. And it wasn't... I wasn't planning on buying this. But I did. And I do love this like most of all of them. It is such a nice blush. So it's staying as well. So let's go into highlighters. So highlighters. We can start with this maybe. This is a highlighter stick from a Swedish brand Beauty Act. This is staying. I bought it like last week. So yeah, this is staying. I have this liquid highlighter from Wet n Wild. I don't support Wet n Wild anymore. They lied about being cruelty free. So I'm going to declaring this one. And I also will finally <laughs> decluttering this one. This was so, so many did want this. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow in Moon Tears. This is a really, really nice loose highlighter. This didn't came to Sweden. I bought it from Beauty Bay. But as I said, I do not support Wet n Wild anymore. So I'm going to decluttering this one as well. And it's like the amount of product in this one. It's insane. Like, I don't think nobody ever could get through this. This is 8 grams. 0 0.28 ounces. This is so big. But I'm decluttering this one. Then I have one from uh, Lethal. This is Ionic. I would keep it because I do really like their highlight formula. I have my ones from Colourpop. These are all staying. My favorite is Lunch Money. It's this one. It is such a nice highlighter. And I do also have Flexitarian and Hippo. I'm saving this Hippo because this is like the only purple leaning I have. But these are staying all three of them. Then I have these two from NYX. This is a finishing powder in light, the high glass. I did not like this one at all. <laughs> I know that Angelica Nyqvist loved this one. That's why I bought it, but I do not like it. So I'm going to decluttering that one. And I'm also going to decluttering this highlighter from the same, from the same line. This line is no longer available for some reason. NYX keeps discontinuing good things and keep shady things. But yeah, I'm going to do decluttering this one as well. And the last one I have from NYX is this duochromatic in twilight tint. This is a blue one. And I actually think that I will decluttering this one. Because you can actually compare it to maybe Moon Cruiser from... Kaleidos. No, this is so much more purpley. Maybe Skywalker then. Okay. So this is the next one. Oops. This is Skywalker and this is Moon Cruiser. You know what? This is going as well. Then I have this Ofra one. Ofra is... Uh, Getting a little bit cancelled right now. This is the skin glaze donut. I do really like this. I think this is a really nice highlighter. But I'm going to decluttering this. Not only for them being a little bit cancelled. Because I'm not much for cancel culture. But I like never use it. So I'm decluttering this one. This one is from Lunar Beauty in Mercury. I'm keeping this because this is one of my favorite highlighters and the one thing I love about this the packaging is amazing <laughs> I did hated it in the beginning 
but I do love it. But also, this looks so good on my skin, even though I don't use any setting spray. So, yeah, this is staying as well. I have the UA, UA, UA Citrine that looks like this. I do like this one. But like how does it even look? Don't I have a hundred highlighters that look exactly as this one? I'm going to put this in a maybe pile. And this is the Pixie by Petra in Subtle Sunrise. Mine looks shady because this actually <laughs> fell out of the pan. But I don't know. Is this in the citrine one? Pretty similar. Um, yes. The one from Pixie is maybe a little bit darker. Okay, I don't know. I, I, I put this in a maybe pile as well. And then the last two. Is that really the last two? It feels like I should have had more. I know this is much, but it feels like I should have had more. This is from a Swedish brand. This is Illuminating Powder. Um, I can't use it as a powder because it gets too shimmery. So I tried to use it as a highlighter, but I didn't like it. So this is actually being decluttered. Decluttered. I'm going to decluttering that one. And then I have this from KVD in uh, Thunderstruck. Maybe I should just start to use this. It's a really nice one. I would keep this one. Okay, I've been swatching a lot, so I actually will keep this one from UA and I will decluttering this one from Pixie, mostly because it looks so freaking disgusting. And yeah, I'm going to decluttering this one as well. And yeah, maybe I should show you everything that I did declutter. So okay, these are all the ones that I'm decluttering. So it's seventeen things. And I I don't know if this is the most surprising thing, the Natasha Denona, but I just have to be honest with myself. I have tried to use this, but it's just not for me. And like, this is too dark for me. This I don't like. And no, I do not like this. So yeah, this is what I'm decluttering from my makeup collection with blushes, highlighters and contour. So that was all for this part of my decluttering series. It feels so good to finally do this, to finally decluttering things that I have had in my drawers, but I know I don't use and I don't like, and it feels good now to begin this new year with the things that I like a little bit more. Maybe I do decluttering during this year i don't know but yeah i really hope you like this part and the next part is going to be all about eyeshadows i think this is going to be the first time i do an eyeshadow palette collection video maybe i can't remember if i have done one but yeah if you want to see all my eyeshadow palettes i think that video will come up maybe next week so don't forget to subscribe and yeah i hope i'll see you in the next one Bye.